All right, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Soul Silver on Nintendo DS. Yes, all right. Uh, this is where I left off. Uh, we just defeated um, Team Rocket and the little hideout, but they'll be back. Don't worry. Now that you've done that, we can take on the gym leader. But first, there's something I need to show you. Uh, I actually learned how to play that little Voltor flip card game pretty well, and I managed to. I do not want to use Surf. Uh, I wanted to show you a summary. There you go. I, I uh, can I show you my move set here? No, I cannot. I'm gonna have to flip over my. Okay. I managed to um, get 10,000 coins so I can teach my Star U Ice Beam. So that's gonna help. I, uh, I, I, I really need this for those dragons in uh, Elite Four, but you no. Know, I'd rather use that instead of Blizzard because the uh, you know Blizzard has an axio of 70, unless you're using a uh, hell. But you no, know, I'm not gonna do that. So. And I am out of view here. Let's see here. Give me just one second. Uh, yes, I'm using a camcorder. I rather do this on a, my own camcorder instead of using an emulator because uh, most emulators out there do not work very well, and I still rather do this on my camcorder because okay. I spent a hundred fifty dollars on this thing, and I want to put it to good use. All right. Anyway, we're gonna battle another gym leader here. Uh, I think this is a uh, price, so I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce this dude's name. This is my least favorite gym leader because he's just some old fart who talks about. Pokemon not supposed to be your friend, so that I, I didn't like this guy too much in anime. I'm glad Ash kicked his butt really hard, so. And here we have a very unusual uh, puzzle here. What the hell? I haven't been here before, so. Uh. Okay, the first room was easy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, great trainers in there. I can't see this too good on my camcorder because I haven't, you know, and I haven't been here before, so I don't know what the. Mm, well. Let's just go ahead and take care of these uh, two channels here, and uh, once I figure out this little puzzle, I'll probably do it off screen, because I'm still out of view. This is my first time playing Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, but I did play Gold and Silver back in the old days, but apparently all the gems are completely different than they were in the classical days, so. Alright, Skill Diana, you have a Jinx! We have a Jinx here, but this thing's defenses are pretty terrible. Uh, it's a very strong psychic Pokemon, but it pales in comparison to Alakazam. It's a uh, its special attack is a uh, higher than Espeon, slightly higher, but um, it's a lot slower. And uh, and uh, how did you survive that? Well, this is a Vulpix so so if I if I use my Sunday Day first, that wouldn't have happened. She would have been killed for sure. But oh well, no biggie. I mean, Jinx just isn't isn't a bad Pokemon, but you no, know, I just don't like it too much. Never did. I guess I didn't like Jinx because it kicked my butt so many times in um, Pokemon Stadium. And, um, how you pronounce uh, her name? Uh, her anime name is uh, Prima. The big breasted chick from the Orange Islands. Uh, she, she uses uh, Jinx in Pokemon Stadium. And that Jinx Pokemon Stadium was just extremely annoying. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there's another train over here. Let me just go ahead and take him for the experience points. Uh, naturally, uh, this is Ice Gym. So this is why I got uh, Lococo out here. Uh, let's see here. Skier Patterns is a swine up. But this thing is pretty weak, but uh, let me just go ahead and get a Sunday out here just in case. No. Swine up is a ground type mixed with ice type. And I think there's only like. That's gonna love me, actually. I think there's only like two pure types. Uh, two pure, pure type. Uh, I got tongue tied. Two pure type ice Pokemon in the, in the game, which is uh, Glaceon, the new one, and. Um, that ice type from the third generation, the uh, Glade or something. I forgot what's Endure, you little weasel. I should have blasted you away first. It's like you read my mind there. Uh, but yeah, every other ice type in the game has like another, uh, is like a dual type. So you, you can like use another move other than fire attack to do super fat hits and stuff like that. So the sunlight is strong. What the hell is that? Oh, sorry about that. That was something random down. I thought I heard somebody. I thought I heard a weird noise outside. Must have been a cat knocking over a trash can or something. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see here. Another swing up! And I got this souped up flamethrower here, so uh, no one do it. What the hell? Oh, that's right. Damn, uh, must that Lord Maxi before. Ice Wind, uh, it's uh, a tap out 55, but it also lowers your speed 100% of the time, so. 
I think you can learn this in the battle tile, so I probably could have did that for my star you, but I really use ice beam for sheer brute force. Just go ahead and knock you out with it, and you little. What an aggravating battle this has turned out to be. And I missed. Okay, uh, I'm just about help with this. Uh, I can't take this anymore. It's probably going to use ice tech, but my Meganum has good defense. It's, it's not like it's going to one hit KO me, you know, so. Ah ha! Pedal dance! There we go. Now die! Or faint, whether. Alright, we got that little aggravating battle. I really hate trainers who rely on stats effects and stuff like that. It's it's kind of annoying. It's probably why in uh, on online battles they ban things like double team and um, you know bright powder and confuse. Well, not confuse ray, but uh, you know all those hacks moving. How the hell do you get out of this uh, room? Okay. Uh, once again, I haven't played. I haven't. I have not played Heart Gold so Silver before. But uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like if I go, how the hell am I supposed to get out here? Looks like if I do this, I can knock that over and go up like this. Okay, that was easy. All right. Next room looks like we have a little more complex puzzle and a few more trainers. Let's just go ahead and take care of them. See what they have here. Hey, hey, are you shivering? Are you scared to fight me? No, I'm not scared to fight you. <laughs> I promise I wouldn't do that anymore, but I can help it. It's kind of funny. Sorry, Chuck Combo. I didn't mean to steal, steal your little epic note there, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that all the time. Don't worry, pal. Let's see. Here we have a seal. This thing is not that strong. It's a water type, but it's also ice type, which means he takes neutral damage from fire attacks, all right? He's probably going to try to... Why are you resting when I haven't even touched you yet? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Flamethrower. Ice Shard. I forgot about that crap. Uh, this move is basically um, a ice version of a quick attack, but I don't know why he did it. Doesn't make any sense to me, but... Oh well. It's not very... Oh, that's right. It doesn't become an ice type until it evolves to Dugong. That's right. Se Seal is a pure water type. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't become ice until it evolves to Dugong. What are you doing? You replace one seal for another one. What sense does that make? Doesn't seal have a thick fat or something? Because even though uh, it's a water type, I got that sun there and plus the stab, so it should have did at least thirty percent health. So uh, that's okay. I forgot that it doesn't become an ice type until it lost the dugong. So uh, let's get my game out here. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Okay. okay, this doesn't make any sense. You're you're basically telling me to kill you. Okay, I would do that. Pedal dance. Let's see you survive this one. Thank you. Yeah, I noticed that that that. That chicken really is indeed the the weakest of starter. Everybody picks Cinderella, either told it out, but but she does. It does have its moments now. Here's our dugong, and I'm still in the outrage here. Once again, a pedal dance is basically a grass version of an outrage, except it, it's weaker. But outrage's uh, base attack was a uh, 90 back in the old days, but but when it, when it came to um the fourth generation, it went up to 120, and and that makes Garchomp just just ridiculous, really. Got up and uh, crazy got ridiculous when they got outraged out there. So, ah, he's doing ice shot, so he can attack first. It's gonna do like what 10 hit points at the most, not even 10. <laughs> yeah, my game is not bad, it has its moments in, in this uh, main game, but. And that's a, and actually the main reason why I, I chose a uh, chicken read because e e every I say about 90% of the walkthroughs on YouTube use uh, Cyndaquil, so I said I'll be different. I'll pick Chicken Reader since nobody likes the grass type. I'll be in the minority. Alright. And of course, I'm a fan of the anime. I kind of like Ash's uh, Chicken Reader. 
Alright, let's see. Here's another trainer. Let's just go ahead and take care of uh, him or her. I can't tell in this uh, camera recorder. It is a... Her. It's Jill Valentine. Skill Jill. Okay, she sounds like Dugong. And, uh... Okay. Now, if I'm... If memory serves me, Dugong is part water and part ice, so... It should take uh, neutral damage in addition to this uh, sunny day, so... I should do, um good amount of damage with this upcoming flamethrower here. Uh, I'm using Lococo because I want her to level up to 43 as soon as possible so I can go ahead and evolve to my favorite Pokemon which is Ninetales. Nine! It's not very effective. But this will be... What the heck? Okay, I, I know you got thick fat now. Let, let me see. Man, fat! I told you, I, I haven't played Pokemon so damn long. I I, I forgot like some of their special ability and so on and so forth. But let me, let me check this out because that that didn't make any sense to me right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Dugong is part water and part ice. It takes neutral damage, but it has a special ability called uh, thick fat, so it takes half damage. So it's still it's still taking half damage from a fire attack. So okay, let me get it out of here. I forgot that uh, Vulpix is capable of learning um. Vulpix has the ability to learn um, Energy Ball, which, which is a nice little grass attack. So, but it isn't really going. Aurora Beam is not going to do me any good until I get like Nasty Plot and Hypnosis, where I can just put my sweep, put my sleep, and just sweep the entire team with my two special moves. Only Dark types and um, like Hound Doom and so on can will, will resist the combination of, of uh, Fire and Grass. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I forgot. I don't have a. Oh damn! What what the hell am I doing? The sun is shining, and I'm trying to use a thunder attack. And of course I missed, cause Axe is like 50 now. So okay, I'm uh, not doing too good in this battle here. It's not very effective. Sunlight is strong. Oh, well, let, let me try it again. I might get lucky this time. And I missed again, of course. Why are you doing a road being? You know it's not very effective against water types. Sunlight faded. All right, let me try it again. Hey, I hit him this time. No sunlight. Okay. I uh, hope you learned from my mistakes right there. Whoa! Ah! Uh, utterly annoying. Okay, why didn't you attack me? That didn't make any sense. Okay, let me guess. You're gonna do ice shot now for uh, for a desperate KO. Let me just switch. Anyway, I said hope you learned from my mistakes. Um, why sunlight? Uh, thunder's actually is reduced, of course. When there's no sunlight, thunder is a uh, 70% accuracy, and when it's raining, it's 100%. So, I could make my style to a rain dancer with um, thunder, surf, or rain dance, and ice beam. But if I do that, I have to get rid of recovery, and I do not want to lose. I don't. I don't want to get rid of recovery. And of course, you're doing ice shot on my grass type, but that's okay. Anyway, I don't want to get rid of recovery because you know I need that. So I don't have to continuously go to the uh, Pokemon Center when I need to heal it. So. I've been this one battle for about five minutes, haven't I, man? That's, that's just ridiculous, man. This, this was just like a complete waste of my time here in this uh, episode here. Wow, I had to use three Pokemon to take down that. Wow. And we defeated Jill Valentine. And I... What the hell? Okay. I do not know why I have not... I have yet to make a, uh, a LP of a Resi with three... So you little weasel. Just when I found the right way. Uh... I don't know why I haven't made an LP of Resident Evil 3 yet, because Resident Evil 3 was indeed my very first uh, Resident Evil game. Resident Evil 3 is the reason why I played Resident Evil, so... Shoot uh, This thing has terrible, and I mean terrible, physical defense. I mean magic defense, so... Back in the old days, uh, Shelter and Closer's defense was just impossible. But when the physical special um, defense split was introduced in Gold and Silver, it wasn't that good anymore, so... Just like Rhydon. So, it's a water type and it's an ice type, so I should be able to do more than half as hell with this uh, sunny day flamethrower here. Let me see here. Go, go, go. Oh, we can't hold it in one here. It's not very effective. Oh, that's, that's right. Just like Seal, uh, you, you don't become an ice type until you actually involve into a cluster. It wasn't very effective, and yet I still KO'd it in one hit. And another Seal. All these damn Seals, man. Ugh. Damn, thank that Pokemon. 
Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I haven't understood why I haven't done LP Resident Evil 3 yet. Cause Resident Evil 3 is the reason why I play Resident Evil. But uh, I, I guess I'll. Um, I was planning on doing a Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 next, but I might go ahead and do Resident Evil 3 next after this. I mean, it's it, the game is only about two or three hours long, so it's probably going to take me about maybe what three or four parts at the most to to get it over with. Cause I can make movies as long as I want to if I please, but. Uh, I probably do it like 20 minutes a piece, stuff like that, you know. So. Anyway, we'll deal with the Resident Evil 3 when the time comes. Uh, it just crossed my mind because they had a girl there, there named Jill, and I'm still in outrage here. Pedal dance! There we go. Die, Cluster! Cluster was actually the very, very, very first Pokemon I used, and because um, I was playing. Um, Pokemon staying in my friend's house uh, before I started playing Golden Silver and uh, I, I used the random Pokemon I used the uh, close to head like high beam and self-destruct stuff like that so hey I made it to the gym leader already okay that wasn't that wasn't too pleasant as I thought it'd be all right so here's the old fart himself uh, I can you pronounce his name Price or Prince or whatever I didn't even look at it. Uh, in anime he said something like Pokemon aren't supposed to be your friends and where are my lemonades he said something like Pokemon aren't supposed to be your friends and stuff like that. You know, they're just made strictly for battling and something. I, I can't remember. But uh, I don't like him too much, you know. He's just a dirty old fart. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Now, if I'm correct, he has a Poliswine, which is a which is a which is a pretty strong uh, ground type, so I'm definitely gonna have to you know what? Let me just go ahead. I was gonna try to stick with the Lococo here, but let me just go ahead and uh, get Megane in my head so I can go ahead and end this uh, gym battle. So, Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen. I I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I'm the other, let me show you what I mean. I've been training Pokemon since before you were born. I'd not lose easily. I am. How do you pronounce this dude's name? <laughs> I'm not too good at spelling today. The winter training. I should demonstrate my power. All right, here we have our which gym leader is this? This is our seventh gym leader, okay? The old fight himself with the cane. Uh, he starts off with a seal. It's at it's at level 30, but my beginning is at level 35, and I have pedal dance. So let's just go ahead and get actually. Uh, I'm gonna use magical leaf because pedal dance will. Um, after you use it two or three times, you'll be confused, just like Outrage. So I'm gonna say a pedal dance for a polished wine. Ha ha! Magic leaves trying to kill you! Die! Alright! I told you, Meganum has his up point. It's Dugong. Okay, I'm gonna start using my pedal dance now, so. This should uh, one hit kill you too. Go, go, go. Oh! No! A rubber beam that's gonna hurt. This is so faggot right here. And he's gonna use a hyper potion naturally. My attack fail. And I'm stuck in a outrage here. I'm, she's gonna do it again. It's probably gonna do the, the exact same uh, damage here. Unless the uh, the random factors in my favor here. Come on, give me a KO. KO, KO. Yes, I got a KO that time. Alright, no confusion, please. No confusion. Why didn't it happen the first time? Come on, man. That's just, that's just so damn gay. And, uh, let's see if he's just like the old school with, uh, he should be out of policy line now. Ah, damn it, I'm confused. Yep, it's Wilbur. Alright, uh, <laughs> you are quite the trainer. Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure that thing has either Ice Beam or Blizzard, and, uh, if it hits me, I'm gonna get KO'd for sure, so, uh, I doubt you're gonna do an earthquake. Uh, let's see here. Mm. I am confused. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can survive a hit. I probably won't, depending on what it hits me. If it hits me with Blizzard, I'm gonna get KO for sure. I remember in the old days, I had Blizzard. I don't know if it's still using it or not in this uh, remake. Oh, yeah, you got Blizzard alright because uh, you're going to. Um, Okay, uh, Blizzard is actually kind of good in this new generation now that um, you can have a permanent hailstorm with um, what's that Pokemon name again? That big old 
snow that 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 grass ice Pokemon in the fourth generation. I forgot what his name. But uh, a hail a hailstorm makes a blizzard 100 percent accuracy. Kind of like rain does for thunder. So within luck, I'll get rid of it with this uh, pedal dance. If not, I bring out my Lococo to finish it off. But this thing is kind of defensive and. Uh, oh! You fainted, die! All right, got that little mess, and that takes care of this uh, so-called gym leader. I beat him with one Pokemon. Well, I am over level, so. Uh, in a way, Blizzard makes a. Uh, I mean, uh, Hellstorm makes Blizzard one percent accurate. So, if you want to build like an ice team, a uh, team around that, it might not be a bad idea to, to try it. But I wouldn't take it to any competitive uh, tournament, so it's not gonna do too well. I know it says that the bears raised the special tax of my I never understood that does cuz I never saw a uh, an increase in my attack anytime I got one of these badges and stuff like that like like they say some badges are uh, wrecking raise your speed and stuff like that so I never saw I said I never saw that Tim 7 is hell I don't need that all right all right, and also hail also um it's kind of like it's an ice version of sandstorm too. It, it damages every Pokemon on the field except for ice types, so that can also be a uh, you know you can also build a team around that. So and if you're building a team around that, uh, for God's sake, please use a uh, Glaceon because Glaceon special attack just has Espeon. The only problem with Glaceon is it doesn't have a lot of um a lot of a lot of special attacks and speeds uh, not too good. So Professor M, oh yeah, that's right. Now that we have seven badges, uh. Team Rocket Sparkin! Okay. So, Team Rocket has now taken over the radar tower and going to Rock City naturally. And we need to kick them out. But we're going to do that on the next episode because this thing is 20 minutes long. Alright, I'll see you guys later.